Hello and welcome to the uh, APW. I'm here with Gordon from Young Legionnaire and a former Block Party member as well. Mm -hmm. um, right, OK. Um, I've obviously had you in the studio um, over the years. Yeah. And I've kind of seen the tweaks of your setup. Right. Could, you, <laughs> could you give us a little rundown of what, how you started? Mm. What was like your main first kind of tonal goal right. when you first started out? Yeah. And then tell us how it kind of evolved and uh, what other things pushed you in sure. that direction. Um, I think my memories of when I started is that I, was, I, I had absolutely no sort of knowledge or understanding of, of tone or anything. Mm. I just, you know, for me, you just turn up, you've got a bass and you play it to the point where I'd even, I'd learned to play with just my fingertips. I never used a plectrum. I sort of played up the neck. I didn't have any good technique or anything. Mm. And I think just, you know, you, over the years you go into studios, you try different things with producers and then you go out and you tour and you find out what works on stage. And yeah, I just went from a point of the beginning playing with my fingers in, into a tuner through the amp that we've been given free at mm -hmm. the point we were signed so having no input in, beyond that to going oh I should have some distortion oh let's try more speakers mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think by the time we started Young Legionnaire which is about 2010 I got a lot more of an idea I wanted a different bass than I'd been using in was it, was, it, was it a P bass? Yeah I had this I started off when we Right at the beginning of Block Party, I had a, a Squire, just a P-based copy. Mm -hmm. And then with the deal, I was able to buy a Mexican P-base, which was fairly new, which was actually the guitar that I've ended up with th the whole time in that band. And yeah, then then um, switched over to the Grabber for Young Legionnaire because I just thought it's a different tone. It looks different it was, a, mm. it was all a bit more rock the whole thing and that was the idea of that band. This, this is the one that has the moving pickups yeah it's it's a grabber because you can move the pickup from the neck and down yeah. so you can i mean you know i always keep it in the neck position so mm. it's kind of a bit wasted on me but yeah it's it's a mobile pickup yeah nice cool um what's writing like with young legionnaire how does it all start off and you know what has been mm. the difference between from Block Party mm. to this because I'm yeah. assuming it, it, there are different drivers and where they where yeah. It comes from. Um, I think for me in Block Party, I was always reacting to ideas that were coming in, and that there's something very freeing about that as a bass player that you just hear something and then you respond naturally in the moment. Mm. Um, for Young Legionnaire, we all came in with riffs and ideas. Is that is that a rehearsal room set up for that, or was it was it for both, or is uh, it sending ideas out, coming back? It's more in Young Legionnaire. It very much relies on being in the room to to arrange everything. Mm. Um, you know, I live in Austin, and the other guys have been in Berlin and London, so we don't get together that much. So it's always critical that we have that time where we can just organically work through things but it will start with ideas that we all have on our phones or sort of demoed with okay. a basic drum pattern and and you know so we've got a bit of a head start and we might go in and work on three or four things mm. in a day and and things actually come together super quickly with the young legionnaire we were never precious about things we just went if it sounds good that's good we'll let's play that there that's good let's just do that for eight bang you know very yeah. quick yeah that's brilliant. And I suppose all the, uh, this next question is coming from, I think, a lot of kids that are doing bedroom stuff. Right. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you running in your little mixed demo stuff at home? I have the most basic, almost ridiculously basic setup, which is um, my laptop with Ableton. Um, I don't even use Pro Tools. I'm quite happy with Ableton, which mm -hmm. I, I find is just... I mean, it, when I started trying to learn, it was just very quick to pick it up, I felt. Yeah. And this Line 6 thing, which is called a tone port, I think. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it has one mic input and one guitar, like, instrument in, insert yeah. input. And then there's a few others on the back. <laughs> but it's really, like, you can record two up to th three at once. Mm. And that's all I need. I mean, usually I'm just demoing with it, but I've got to a point where I've actually sort of put amps in and tried to record and I've got okay-ish results so it's so basically I don't know that I would recommend it as a 
as a setup, but it's is the very other quick. Half, is the other half patient with you with this stuff, um, <laughs> making noise in the house? Well, luckily in Austin, the great thing about Austin is that um, we have a bit more space, and I've got this little shared outside in the back, which is, it w- would be harder to do in London. But Hopefully yeah, little, with some AC. Yes, absolutely <laughs> vital in in Texas. Yes, um, little music shed that I can make noise in, which is great. Amazing, Gordon. Thank you ever so much for coming. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you.